Hello YouTube, this is a video of my complete Capitol Beetle vinyl collection from 1964 to 1970. Uh, these are these are all the albums that you know Capitol sequenced themselves. Like for instance, uh, here's Meet the Beatles, February 64. Original pressing. Um, with the original blue inner sleeve. Original vinyl label. Uh, very great album, by the way. Beatles second album. This is in like... Near Mint. The cover. Or... Yeah, it basically is mint. I mean, the spine is mint. And it's first pressing with the blue inner sleeve. And these are first mono pressings on the black and rainbow capital label. This is a 71 press on the orange label. It has the gold record award logo stereo. Here's one of my favorites. First mono press of something new. Very great track listing picture too. Yeah. First mono press. First stereo press. From I think July sixty four. This came out. Yeah. First, I have first mono and first stereo pressing of that. And, and I have 78 press and the shrink on the really nice purple label. My favorite capital label besides the original black and rainbow label. Beetle Story original. Mono. Yep. First pressing, all right. November 64. This came out December 64. Beetle 65. Uh, another one of my favorites. I, I think Beetles for Sale is underrated. And this has my some of my favorite songs on it, plus... She's a woman and I feel fine. Pretty cool. First first mono pressing. Uh, first Canadian pressing. See, it advertises the Canadian albums. It says printed in Canada. Records, no good. I mean, compared to the other one, I just have it in the collection. No use selling it. Because it skips on the song. Um early Beatles. This is my newest edition. My collection. This is the last one I needed to complete in this collection right here. It, it's Please Please Me songs they never released on Capitol yet. Early Beatles. Really cool cover by the way. First stereo pressing. Yeah. First stereo pressing. First mono pressing of Beetle 6. I think from February 65 this came out. No, that came out. February 65. This came out somewhere early 65. Uh... Yeah, this, yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. And it's cool, Beetle for Sale tracks and my some of my favorite help tracks. This is the first mono pressing. First mono pressing of help. American version with the gatefold. Yep, first pressing.
first stereo, I mean, not first, but stereo reissue. 70s, I think 76 Apple pressing. Um, there's the gatefold, by the way. Um, here's, here's probably the best one of these rubber sole. U.S. rubber sole. This was a change for the good. Like in a track listing, they they mixed all the folky tracks on it. Like I've just seen the face. It's only love. Yeah, this has a really nice flow. Um, I miss Nowhere Man on it, but that's still on. This album is from December '65, and this is from. Uh oh. June 66 I think yesterday and today this is an early pressing it's right after they quit you know it's right after it's the pressing right after the butch, original butcher cover but this is in mono so this has to be from 66 because they didn't press this in mono after 66 so this is from 66 I got it for really cheap it's you know it's a nice shape and this is one of the very best of the these albums in this collection along with rubber soul i really love the songs on this one like every song fantastic track listing one on the orange label orange capital label 71 i think stereo first one i added this Paid the same price for both of them. Revolver first mono press. I got this for real cheap. Yeah, mono version's great. Even though I like hearing the UK version of this better, but I like hearing the US one when it's on vinyl. Here's the first stereo press. I like hearing Rubber Soul yesterday and today and Revolver at the same time. Just sitting down and listening to those three albums. It's just a great era, the Beatles music. And then they did their masterpiece, Sgt. Pepper, right after, in my opinion. That's our first mono and stereo press of that. 70s Apple pressing, 76. Magical Mystery Tour. This wasn't a UK album. It was only on US Capitol for years until they became part of the regular discography. And they put the CDs out. Yeah, the EP on side one and singles on side two. It's really fantastic, of course. The album itself. Uh, yeah, I love the psychedelic era. And this last one, Hey Jude, this is the reissue where it's just titled Hey Jude. Uh, instead of the Beatles again, instead of Hey Jude, the Beatles again, I still need to get the Apple pressing of that. The first Apple press where it says Hey Jude, the Beatles again. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I have, so yeah, I, I pretty much have all of these albums first pressing on this label. You know, the the other the other ones look much nicer than that. This is the, you know, um, nearly useless one, but I, I just don't feel like pulling any records out right now. So yeah, there, there's a look at the nice, glorious, original cap 